Hey guys, welcome back to Bronze and Math Club. Today I'm going to be doing the topic dividing decimals by 100. Now this topic is um, fairly like the topic dividing decimals by 10. So stick with me. So let's take a problem and the problems you'll see would be something like 62.3 divided by 100. Now they could write it in division form which will look something like this. But um, these problems are just to confuse you, okay? The real deal is taking the decimal number, okay, um, um, making it easier so that you can divide it by 100, okay? So let's take the decimal number, which is 62.3, okay? Now you have to notify, now you have to notify each number at its place value, okay? And then divide it, and then divide each number and its place value by 100, okay? So 3. Now the number right after the decimal point is uh, uh, either in the tens, the hundreds, or the thousands. Okay, so the number right after the decimal point point is in the tens. Okay, so three is in the tens, three tens, and now we have to do the two. Now the two is right, the number right before the decimal point, which will be the ones. Okay, and now the six. Now the six is the number right before the the um the one, so that will be the tens. Okay, now if you see here, the six and the three share something, but actually, if you look closely, they don't actually share anything. The six is in the tens, which is the hun the whole number. Okay, and then the three is in the tens, which is a fraction. Okay, so I, um that's how it works. Number uh after the decimal points are either in the tens hundreds of thousands and the number before the decimal points are in the, either in the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands, okay? Uh, so now you have to take this, um, the first number, which is 3, write it in its place value. So since 3 is a fraction, we'll have to write 3 over 10. Why am I writing 3 over 10? Because 3 is a number and the since is in the tens, you'll have to write the 10 number, right? Okay, now we have to divide this by 100. Since 100 doesn't have a uh, denominator under it, we'll just have to write 1, okay? So now we're going to use the reciprocal method, which is um, flipping the second fraction over and then multiplying the two fractions, okay? So 3, 10 times, this time multiplication, okay? And then we flip this one, so 1 over 100. And now we have to multiply Okay, so 10 times 100 will be 1,000, and then 3 times 1 will be 3, okay, so 3 over 1,000. Now, if we write this again, uh, 3 over 1,000 is actually 0 0.003, okay, so this is number. Now, let's divide the 2 by 100, so 2, which is over here, so we'll write the 2, okay? Now we have to divide this by 100, okay? So if we come over here, so now since 2 is a whole number, we'll just have to divide it normally, okay? So 2 and 100. Now 2 is a small number and 100 is a big number, so we have to make the 2 into a bigger number. To do this, let's put a decimal point up over here, okay? And now we can add zeros. So we can add, we can add another zero, which is 20, which makes it 20, but 20 can cancel going to 100. So let's add another zero, which will be zero. Now, since we're adding another zero, we'll have to add a zero over here, okay? So now we divide. Now 200 is divisible by 100, okay? So what times 100 is equal to 200? Let's do the times table of 100, okay? So 100 times 1 is 100. 100 times 2 is 200. Wait, 200, 200. So let's do 100 times 2, 200. 200 goes into 200 evenly, okay? So our quotient is 0 0.02. So we come over here, okay, and we write 0 0.02. Okay, that's it. Now, let's do the number. Let's divide the number 6 with by 100, okay? So since the 6 is also a, 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 a whole number, so we have to divide the 6 by 100. But you should know something. 6 is actually a 60 because it's in the tens place value, okay? So we'll have to divide the 60 divided by 100, okay? So we come over here, write it in division form. 
So 60, 100, okay? So now, um, so, but if you look over here, 60 is still not divisible by 3. So we'll have to add a decimal point over here and add a 0. Now 600 is divisible by 3, 100, okay? So we come over here and, okay, I'm sorry, I said 3 before, but it's actually 100, okay? So we come over here and now we do the times table of 3 to find out what times 100 is 600. So 100 times 1 is 100. 100 times 2 is 200. 100 times 3 is 300. Now if you look over here, there's a pattern. 100 times any number is that number plus two zeros. So we can just do 100 times 6 is 600. That works out. So we'll come over here and we write 100 times 6 is 600. And 600 goes into 600 evenly. So we have a quotient which will be uh, 0.6. So 0 0.6, okay? Now, if we add up all these quotients, so let's add up all these quotients, okay? So let's add zeros where there's no zeros, okay, to make it easier for us. So 3 plus 0 plus 0 is 3. 0 plus 2 plus 0 is 2. 0 plus 0 plus 6 is 6. And now we bring down the decimal points and we're adding and bring down the zero and we have our uh, new number which is 0 0.623. Now we can take this decimal number and now we can divide this by 100. So let's write this in division form, okay, so 0 0.623, okay, divided by 100, okay. Um, this is not actually how you do it. Well, here's the thing. You don't actually have to do anything. You actually already did divide. So, our quotient is 0 0.623. See, that's how you do it. This was, this was kind of surprising. Like, oh my god, now I have to do this. Wait, I just found out the co quotient itself. So, this is dividing decimals by 100. And we'll see you guys next time.